Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. We got a lot of requests for this and that's how can I sing with distortion or how can I sing with grit? Well, I want to first off start by saying that this is an extreme sport. This isn't something you just go off and do. So imagine if you're in a motocross or BMX biking and you're gonna just all of a sudden start at the top of a mountain and go down the mountain with your bike. Well, this kind of singing is an extreme sport. So you're doing that with your vocal folds. Are you gonna jump off a cliff as a hang glider and go Aah! and hope for the best? Well, <laughs> plan on your uh, destroying your voice if you don't understand the stages of what it takes to get there. Now, I cover all of this in my singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. If you're interested, go to kentamplevocalacademy.com and you can check out what I do. But um, let's get back to this. First, you're not going to like to hear this, but I'm going to say it anyway. We have to train strength in the voice clean first. If we don't do this, we're gonna destroy our voice, okay? So we have to start with really good habits on how to sing correctly first, and then little by little, we lean into a sound. And let me explain what I mean by that. So we start out with this good, strong, powerful, clean voice, and if I go, hey, nice and clean, hey, and I wanna lean into that sound a little bit, hey, You're kind of a little bit of distortion coming in, hey, Right? I'm kind of leaning into the sound. Now, how do I do that? Okay, well, I use something called glottal compression. It's an old bel canto term, which means that what we're doing is we're bringing air up to the, the vocal folds, the chords themselves, and we're compressing air at the glottis, okay, your, your chords. Now, what's happening is I actually compress it in, in, the, in the lung and in the neck also. But as we're doing this, so, you know, hey! So now let's do something else. As we go up higher, uh, in fact, it's easier to do it higher than lower because the, the nature of what we're doing. I want to be really clear about something. What we are doing is distressing the chord. Okay? Get your brain around that. We're distressing the chord. This isn't uh, a Disneyland cakewalk for the vocal folds. This is something where we're actually applying pressure. Okay? So, hey! Here's clean. Hey! Here's distorted. More distorted. Hey! Here's more distorted. Hey! Here's more distorted. Hey! And you can have different stages of this if, as you do it. Now, um, the uh, biggest um, caveat to this and the biggest point to this is that if you notice, I'm not doing it like I'm shouting at someone at a football game. I'm compressed. I'm holding in my breath and I'm compressing the air. Hey! Hey! Yeah! Okay, now. I have an assistant, his name is Bob. Bob, if you could be so good, I want you to edit into this. Um, we have a video called Vocal Distortion. Bob, if you could just play that video here and now, that would be great. If you go from a clean sound straight to a hyperglottal compressed distorted sound, chances are you'll either hurt your voice or lose your voice altogether. That's not how we grow compression or distortion. Here's how we grow compression. First, we start with a powerful, clean sound. And then we go to varying degrees of distortion, where we turn up the volume or lean into the sound a little bit more for more and more distorted sound. So I'm gonna play a couple clips back to back of myself singing and then a female student singing, so you can hear both male and female versions of first a clean, powerful sound, then turning up the volume with a little bit more distortion, then a little bit more vocal distortion, and then finally a lot of vocal distortion. Run to the hills. Run for your lives. Okay, as you saw from the video, you saw that all of a sudden I could just kill it with this crazy note and really distort my voice. Now, by the way, that's different than scream and growl because those 
that's even using more false vocal folds and some other things. But I wanna, Bob, if you could be so good to um, entertain me too, and add the, uh, the Chris Cornell tribute that I have, you know, it don't mean a thing! When I'm hitting that one note, I want you to uh, insert that one note here so they can hear this kind of scream. Here we go, check it out. You don't feel a thing! Okay, so as you've seen, you can tell there was different degrees of that distortion. So what we do is we lean into the sound starting with la, and then we kind of push into the sound with the compression using our diaphragm and I can't cover diaphragmatic support here. I have this in my singing course. I cover all of this in my singing course, how to sing better than anyone else. So we start out with a clean sound. Then we can lean into the sound a little bit more. Right? Or, and we can kind of push into that sound just a little bit more. Or, you know, or we can hit it really hard, but we have to start out with a clean sound and then go through levels and stages of distorted sounds. Okay, speaking of Chris Cornell, I actually did another uh, song of his uh, with the movie soundtrack, James Bond movie soundtrack, You Know My Name. And at the very end of that movie soundtrack, I also kill it with another one of those kinds of screams. Bob, if you can insert that, that'd be great. Check this out. You know my name. Okay, like I said, this is an extreme sport. This isn't something we just go out and you know jump off a cliff and think we're gonna be okay. We build this in stages and we do this responsibly over time. So it's not the, the zen of singing anything. It's understanding how to sing well first so you don't lose your voice and then you move into this in stages if you wanna keep your voice. If you wanna just go out and it's just a party and you're gonna, you know, uh, you're a karaoke guy or a weekender or just, you know, wanna do scream and growl, um, my course is probably not for you because I build singers, I don't just build screamers. Not that my singers can't scream, uh, but that I build it healthfully in stages so that we can do this. So again, so as we do is we lean into the sound. Hey, hey, hey. And I, I do this in stages so that when I come back, I have good vocal health and I can come back and sing in a clean sound. Now, I'm gonna close with this, and that's that whenever we sing in a distorted tone, we never warm up, we don't do our warm ups with distortion, ever. There's no reason for that. The reason for the warm up is exactly that, to warm up the voice, not to distress it beyond belief and then be forever sentenced that, you know, so let me make a point here. When we sing with distortion, and sometimes the only way to get to a note is, hey, yeah, yeah, right? It's the only way to get to a note. Instead of, hey, yeah, instead of nice and clean, right? We forever sentence ourselves to always have to sing in a distorted tone. What we want to do is we want to have a way that we sing in a clean tone first, and then we can sing in a distorted tone. And then once we're done with that, the very next day, we come back and we clean up the voice with a nice clean tone so that we don't forever sentence ourselves to always having to sing in a distorted tone to get to a certain note. All right, Ken Taplin Vocal Academy. Proof is in the singing. God bless you guys. Peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay, thanks guys. Peace out.